Dang, don't lose them bolts now. I'll find that. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to continue working on our 2019 Polaris Razor. And now that we got all the parts in, it's pretty much ready for framework. But before we can do that, let's go ahead and take our Lexus off. The frame is done on that. I do have a video made, but I'm probably gonna compress it all into one episode. It's gonna be a little bit longer, but it's gonna be start to finish. So let's go ahead and take that off. It's gonna be a little tricky getting this on the frame since we are missing that right suspension, but we're gonna figure out a way to get it on. Let's get that done, stay tuned. Go ahead, crank this bad boy up. Man, she's not wanting to start up. So the battery is completely shot, so we're using this booster right over here. And this thing is actually a piece of crap. I wouldn't buy another one of these. It doesn't even want to start the truck whenever that battery dies. But check out the little progress right here. We got the quarter panel all tacked on. Everything is mocked up. So What's going on? To crank up. Make sure you press the brake. There she goes. It was the brake, man. I pressed it a little bit harder. Check out that exhaust. Snap, wood exhaust. But go ahead and get this off. Let me get this booster out of the way. And I kind of like working on rear end damage because look, the car runs, starts, it's got AC. You can drive it around. Yes, sir. New build. Check me out. <laughs> you whipping, man. You're going to be getting all the girls in this thing. Dang, check out that fitment, though. I could fit a lot more holes in this car. Just try to get inside the garage since it is raining. So we do have to have some room to spin this thing around. We'll figure something out, but unfortunately it is raining and we do have to get the car inside. So let's go ahead and turn this RZR around and line it up with our frame. Man. Looks like you just hit a workout before. Oh yeah, man, I'm fresh in the morning. Woo wee, pretty close here. Yes, sir, go ahead and hop in and just, I say get full throttle, man. I think you'll make Can it straight do up. a wheelie on this thing? I think if we do a wheelie, you'll make it right up. Pull it back a little bit. Honestly, how do you think we're going to be able to get it up there? With these things right here, as soon as we get off this ramp, we're just going to use these metal plates. Just like that, I've got two of them and we're just going to keep moving them up. Yes sir, probably get like a winch up there. We really need to get an electric winch, but for now we're just going to do it manually. All right, let's get it up there. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we got the other wheel dollies off the wheel since those spin fine. What are you doing? I'm out here breaking away, man. So we are having to do it the old fashioned way since we don't have an electric winch. This right here might take care of all the framework. By the time we get to the top of the frame, it's going to be straight as a whistle. Oh, yeah. Either way it goes, this is getting done. 
Oh yeah, she's just climbing away, dude. Go ahead and put her in glass, man. I think I need to move this ramp a little bit, but keep going. I want to see how these little rollers do on the ramp. Hold it. Let me go ahead and move this ramp and readjust. That's one thing I don't like about this frame is all these grooves right here. Like if a chain gets stuck, it's really hard to get out. But let's go ahead and get this on the frame and get to work. So I do apologize about all the noise. We are in a metal building and it's raining like cats and dogs outside. But now that we got our wheel dolly on these plates right here, instead of doing it with the manual winch, we're just gonna go ahead and fire this thing up and drive it on up. Let's see how that goes. You gotta go kind of fast because there's no radiator. too long because we don't have the radiator but just a little bit's fine so let me go ahead and readjust these plates we're fixing a bottom out come on you're good you're good let me see how this side's looking you're good you're good you're good you're good, you're good. hold it a little bit more and then hold it Get off this other plate. Hold it. Go ahead and fire her up one more time. I think this should do the trick. Go slow. Pretty much we got to run and drive right here. That's how it's done boys compared to that cranking. Yeah, that was a workout in itself. We had to come up with a faster way because we were trying to get this knocked out here very quick. Go ahead and get this strap down and then we'll start pulling. What's going on over here? That cylinder is not wanting to pump up the rest. See if it's pumping. No. Nope. Let's go ahead and strap this thing in. All right guys, so we got the RZR on some blocks in the back. This wheel right here is nice and free. I don't want it flexing on the suspension. And it is kind of leaning because I did get in and hold the brake to pop this wheel off. But we're gonna go ahead and take this front wheel off and do the same thing to the front and then we're gonna get a bunch of chains and strap it on in so it's not flexing when we start pulling. That's a pretty big tire right there. Oh yeah, 31s man. Put that up against the Lexus real quick. Check this out. Oh, I'll definitely be rubbing. <laughs> Dang, that would look kind of dope right there. Check that out, let me get back a little. Maybe we should do some kind of build like that where we do like a like a trophy truck or something like that, have an off-road vehicle. That'd be awesome. These right here are some nice wheels. Let's go ahead and get this front settled in. We kind of ran out of the 4x4 since this thing is lifted so high. So we're just using like a 2x6 or 8, not sure what that is, and then just a couple of blocks right here. Hopefully that balances out. Once we get some chains on this thing, it's not going anywhere though. Go ahead, lower that down. Yeah. 
That should level it out a little bit. Check out that wheel, Dolly. It held up on just one strap. Keep going. It's kind of sitting on this control arm. Can it go your way any? Yes, sir. Just like that. Perfect. I think that's pretty much level right there. All right, guys, so we got the razor secured on the frame. We got plenty of chains holding it down, and there's not much of a frame to strap anything down, but we got two main chains right over here on the main frame. And then we got a couple supporting chains right over here. Those are nice and tight. And then I got three right back here since we are going to be pulling it front most of the time. Man, it's planted on here, but the frame itself is shaking. That's why it's moving around. Yeah, I don't think it's dead level on the ground, but I don't think it's going anywhere. If we have to, we're going to keep an eye on all the chains. I just don't want this thing going anywhere or falling off since we do have the front wheels off. So let's go ahead and line up our post and give it our first pull. Alright, so we're all set up. Let's go ahead and give it our first pull. Oh, I think we're bottomed out. So it's kind of loose. We're going to go ahead and give it another try. and get this winch plate out of the way. Ooh, that's part of our control arm, right? I think you could just take that off. All right, so we got our winch plate off. I also got the bolts out of the differential. I don't want any stress points on that. So let's go ahead and readjust and give it our second pull. Bottomed out. Man, we keep bottoming out. So I think we need to change this trap into a chain. straps back there yes, sir so we are paying close attention to make sure that we don't have any stress points that's the reason why we added so many chains so it's not just one holding it together Keep it going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right, I think we're going a little bit too high. We need to lower this down. Since our roof is a little bit up, we just need to lower this down so it's pulling it down at the same time as it is pulling it forward. Try to hammer down. 
Dang, you're beating up my 2019 Polaris RZR. It's looking so much better though if you're looking at this side right here. We pretty much got it all pulled out. Just a little bit more pulling and tweaking and we'll have this 100% done. Here's some popping and cracking. What's up guys, next day here and we're back on the Razor. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take that right fender off, it's kind of in the way and we have to get some better attaching points and we have to do some welding right there in that corner. So let's go ahead and get the fender off and out of the way. Dang, don't lose them bolts now. I'll find that. Don't give me a little baggie. Check this out, guys. Look who's having to go get it. Put it in the baggie, lock it up. This one right here is a little bit more tricky to get to, but that's the last one. Let's go ahead and get it off. Man, you are up there. Man, you dropping them all over the place. Yeah, I'm working at an angle. About had that. We're still gonna find him. Grab that bar. Or actually I need a, it's, yeah, it's still gonna hold on, I think. Now let's go ahead and take the three bolts off holding the rooftop. That's it, this other one right here just goes around the tube, so that should come off now. It still looks sturdy on there, oh there it goes. Oh, oh man. Hopefully we don't have to take this center bar off and it could just stay up there. There we go, boom. Not too bad. Now let's go ahead and take that fender. Should just pull right off. Woo wee. There we go. So this plate right here needs to be welded. Alright guys, so we got our fender and roll bar off on the right side. This kind of reveals this corner right over here. So this bracket right off the bat needs to be pulled out. And then we have to get this right here welded. And this right here welded. This is part of the main frame. We got everything disassembled in the front. Got all the hoses out of the way. And we're going to leave all that up to the professional stand. The man is going to take care of it. For now, let's go ahead and open up our new parts. This is our new wheel and our upper and lower control arm. We went ahead and went with the OEM for now, and if we do end up breaking these down the road, we are just gonna upgrade them all together. As you can see, we're gonna have to get this powder coated. This one right here is actually brand new. I got a really good deal. I only paid like $35 for that. Let's see what we got here. Is this a used one or a new one? I think this one right here came off a of low mileage. Check it out. Nice, it's got the ball joints, but we got those. 
Dang, he's got everything zip tied. We needed those bearings and seals, so yep. heck yeah, it looks like it's the same one. So we're gonna have to get all this sanded so that we can have a quick turnaround time with the powder coating. So as soon as we get the frame pulled out, those will be ready to go. Yes, sir, let's hop on this wheel right here. So we got. Let's see if we got the same one. So this is what we're running right here. It's got a Pro Armor box. I'll show them that. <laughs> nice. There's the cap. You got a center cap. Ooh, bead lock. Dang, dude, what if we end up painting these another color? Maybe blue. Let us know if we should get these powder coated blue. They do have some scuffs on them either way, but we can get all that done. Check that out, brand spanking new. Dang, that looks sick. Imagine that in like a blue. I think that's what the K&Ms do. Yeah, man, for sure. I think blue is the way to go on this thing, because check that color out, man. Yeah, I really love this color, man. And the black, it looks so good. Let's go compare the two, but yeah, they're the same. I got the part number off of the other one, so we're probably gonna end up fixing that other wheel just to have a fifth spare. We'll see if we can get it done just for the heck of it. Yeah, we'll probably end up mounting it somewhere over here. Maybe even upgrading our roll bar, get some more tubes and whatnot. But let's go ahead and jump on our control arms, get these sanded so I can go ahead and run them down to the powder coating shop so that we can have them back tomorrow. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this episode. We made some good progress on the razor. For now, we're going to go ahead and jump on our control arms. We have to get those sanded. I don't want to bore you guys with that. And we have to get those powder coated today. I do want to be more consistent with my uploads, so this is what we got done. With all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. We've got some more awesome builds. If you enjoyed if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to drop a like. Follow us on Instagram at danny.tv to get an inside sneak peek there before YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.